Late last week, the Cascade Athletic Conference moved its fall sports season into the spring, meaning this upcoming Frontier Conference football season will feature only Montana-based teams. MTN's Dom Tibbetts talks with Montana Western's head coach to get his thoughts on the challenges they'll be up against. I was very uh, hopeful that we would continue to move forward and, and try to get the best possible fall football season we could for our kids. Like many coaches and student athletes in the Frontier Conference, Ryan Norse was sure glad that the Montana-based Frontier schools still have the opportunity to play this fall. And with the possibility to play rivals like Montana Tech and Carroll not once, but twice this upcoming season, it adds a whole new wrinkle to their preparation. Yeah, there, there's nothing harder to do than beat a football team twice in a year. It's just, it's just so much different than any other sport. And as his players continually train and prepare for the first day of sanctioned team practices on August 15th, the possibility of playing a spring season has come across all of their minds. But Norse quickly pointed out that pushing their season to the spring is a tough task to accomplish for any school trying to play football in Montana. You know, we have moved our spring practices to the entire month of April over the last several years because the majority of the time our fields are frozen in March. Not to mention the physicality of the sport itself brings about a whole new set of challenges when trying to transition back to the fall from a spring season. When you have the contact that you have in this sport and what that does, people's bodies and just uh, that, it, it, there is a recovery time necessary and, and I think it would be silly to say that you're going to have high level physical competitors take four weeks off and then be ready to come back and play another season. In Dillon, Dom Tibbetts, MTN Sports.